Fundraisers that we do are targeted towards people as opposed to organizations or companies. And we do that for one reason. The main reason is that we know where the funds are going to go and we can work directly with those individuals. Through a friend of mine, I had found a police officer that was actually going through breast cancer treatment and had four children of her own. It just kind of fit. I mean, it, I, I thought it was a great idea for us to bring somebody in that we directly could be a part of that was your average everyday person. So Miriam Alvarado uh, goes to a gym in Santa Clarita. We just, I reached out to Angela directly and asked, you know, kind of who that person was and what she was going through and uh, invited Miriam to come. Not, we had, we had no idea that she was gonna compete. This female has cancer, is going through radiation. She's currently still going through radiation and treatment. Signed up for the competition and competed. I mean, so it's like, you can't get any better than that. You know, we did this competition and fundraiser solely based on the fact to one, raise awareness of breast cancer, and two, raise awareness to just the community in general. You know, your average everyday person, regardless of what they do for their live for life, um, can be affected by cancer. Uh, and that's why we did it, and that's why we wanted to get companies like ProSource involved to kind of get more of the community going together to focus more on this one person and what, how bad, or just kind of like how much of uh, an impact cancer really has. And for somebody to have a disease like cancer and, and then still come and sign up and then do as well as they did, I mean, they out of, I think we had... I think we probably had nine female and intermediate teams and her and her partner finished third. Which is, I mean, that she's got cancer and going through a lot of, I mean, that's a big deal. And I think for us in general, it was an awesome privilege to be a part of that somebody's going through something so tragic in their life that they decided to sign up and compete and then and placed in the top three in the competition. So yeah, it, it was just, it was unbelievable. It's totally different than, than the other comps that we've done before. Like my goal was to raise as much money or as awareness as we could for one person to help out that individual and not all the things that filter down into companies or we've never really had anybody, anybody donate jump ropes or foam rollers or kind of just like a package thing like, like ProSource did. Um, and on top of that, everything was pink. It was good, it was great. I mean, we had a lot of support from the community. You know, Olive Garden had sent some stuff, Chipotle had sent some stuff. You know, ProSource, you guys um, were awesome in sending the winners a lot of stuff. We ended up, we were able to give Miriam kind of like a little gift basket of, of fitness equipment plus some coupons and it was awesome. I mean, it was a great event. And then what we decided to do is even though our fundraiser ended and the competition ended, uh, we decided to leave the link for donations open for her and her family. So that will never expire. So people can, we could still cross-reference our website or the fundraiser in general, and people can still go on there and donate directly to Miriam her, and her family.